This week we learned the secret technique to become a memory genius. So smart, very smart. You, you. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that answers the important questions in life. Where did we come from? Where are we going? And who's picking up the tab? Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy folks, I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week we're gonna learn a memory technique that'll allow you to take a snapshot and absolutely know what's changed. You'll become a memory genius. Gentlemen, shall we toast? We certainly shall. <laughs> All right, guys. This week we have something special. We have all friendlies here. We got Nate Staniforth from Discovery Channel's Breaking Magic. We have Shane who's been on the show before. We have Mike TV who's been on the show before from Get Set Go. The reason I wanted all friendlies here is because I want to try something that I'm not entirely sure I can do. I was reading an article about uh, sort of a gestalt memorization. It's, it's not like regular memorization. It's sort of an impressionistic technique that allows you to take kind of a mental snapshot and comparatively understand when something changes. Shane, do me a favor, I got 36 cards okay. here. What I want you to do is I'm gonna ask you to make a grid of six by six. This is entirely to you. I just okay. want you to go through some face up, some face down, oh. and I want you to make a six by six grid of 36 cards. Right. Okay. And in fact, you guys can help, we can help if, with if you want. And you know what, let's actually let's actually move everything forward just a little bit. Yeah, Woo! we got it right on. Did it. I, I, yeah. Actually, I feel like we can make this a little more impressive if we sort of mix uh, things up really? like this. Make it bigger. Really? You're yeah. complicating the trick? Yeah, You're there you go. Like, Fair enough. Okay, so so now, okay, so here's the thing. If I had a photographic memory, I'd be able to know which card was where or whatever. That is not the case. The technique as I've read it, you sort of just zone out and you look at it like a QR code. Okay. And you sort of try to visualize it as if it's a physical thing in front of you. So that when you look back, you can't know where everything is, but if something changes, you can oh, identify it, it right? That makes sense. Okay. So give me just a second. Sense. Hold on. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn around, and I want one of you guys to flip just one card. Any card you want. You guys can discuss it. Just, just make sure there's no way I can know. Right. Turn around one card. Let me know once you've done it. You got it? Yeah, yeah turn around. Right. You, you guys are happy? Got it. Yeah, we flipped, we flipped one. one. All right, now this is the weird part, because, yeah. I don't know, you sort of like have to kind of detune your brain, I guess, I don't know. It's, it's something in the top half. Am I right? That's, that's a fair, that's a fair guess. <laughs> Screw that's, you, that you means know. I'm right. <laughs> Dude, it's this one, isn't it? Is this the one you guys play? Nice. Yeah, very because nice. Because you're using the eyeballs in the back of your head. <laughs> that's not allowed, that's not allowed. Just because you're a mutant, I'll tell you what, I, the eyeballs I, in the back I of your swear, head. I swear, I pinky swear there was no peeking, there was no looking. It really is a solid technique and it works every single time. Do you guys want to learn it? Yeah. Well then, toast me. Okay. That's that's the price for your soul. Do you find it difficult to use toothpaste like a reasonable person? Do you encounter problems by just living your day-to-day -day life? Then you probably can't imagine a fast, easy, nor reliable way to register your domains. There has to be a better way. Now with Domain.com, there is. .coms and .nets are trusted and reliable. You probably didn't realize that, but it makes all the difference. But wait, there's more. Order now with promo code SCAMSCHOOL and we'll drop your price by 15%. That's right, 15% off. When you think domain names, think domain.com. There we go. This is a way to use programming knowledge in order to achieve a magic effect. Now in this case, let me start by ruining how I actually did the trick. I did not memorize this stuff. There was no gestalt. I was not looking at it like a QR code. You don't I did say. not notice what was different. Nonsense. All right, screw you guys. <laughs> That's nonsense. Instead, when I just dealt out a bunch of random cards to make it bigger and more impressive, what I was essentially doing was building in a level of error correction based on the existing knowledge. <laughs> By the way, so you're, awesome. you're a math teacher, oh, Shane. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you're basically coding the existing pattern. Yes, yeah, so, so here's what happens. All of the cards you guys laid down yeah. were truly, authentically, yeah. you could do face up and down. It was entirely yeah, yeah, up to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And the more people you get involved, the more interesting it is, the more chaotic it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Now you'll notice, as you guys are going, and in fact, I'll bet one of these cameras caught it, while you guys are busy focusing on the cards face up, face down, I was watching as row by row, you laid them out and I counted out how many face down cards there were. If it was an odd number of face down, I took the cards, and again, I'm thinking of like in, in a book from left to right, 
Oh my God, you created a cheat sheet. I did. You Five. cheating bastard. So in this case, I saw an odd number of face downs, so I took it like a book and just went uh, face down, face down. And then the second one I saw oh, was odd face awesome. down. So I just went like a book face down, awesome. face down. The third one I saw was an even number of face downs. So this time, instead of doing it like a book, instead I slid it up like that. And then, wow. uh, and then the next one again was odd. So I did it like a book. Again, even, I slid it up. And then even again, I slid it up. Now, now this covers one, two, three, four, five, six down. There's like a dead spot here. So I just flip that one like a book. I've decided that that dead spot will always be face down, yeah. right? You'll notice this was all as you were setting it up. Then I made up an excuse to get all of you to move the cards forward. Now in this case, you guys dealt so neatly that I couldn't say, hey, clean all that up. So instead I said, oh, well, let's move it forward a bit. You three were so busy scooting everything forward a bit yeah, that it, ga time. it gave me time to count one, two, three, four. That's even, which means slide across. One, two, three, four, slide across. One, two, three, four, slide across. One, two, three, do the book. One, two, three, four, five, do the book. One, do the book. Now at this point, I yeah. pre-coded everything in there. So you code all of the rows, then and the then dead all, spot, and then all of the columns. Correct, correct. Right. And, so, and so once it's all done, I just close it back on top and I'm like this. And uh, what's great is you guys have it all positioned, and then as if it's an afterthought, I'm like, well, let's make it more interesting. And I just deal down willy-nilly. Which and ostensibly makes it more impressive because you're making exactly. it Exactly, and what's funny yeah. is you guys never questioned why some of my cards were face up and some yeah. were face yeah. down. Because yeah. you're adding to the chaos of the... Right. And all it does is make yeah. it so much more impressive, right? Yeah. So now it's this seven by seven grid. And, and what's funny is I'm, I act like I care. I talk about the idea of taking a mental snapshot and noticing the difference. At this point, the trick begins, as we've talked about, and the work is already done, right. right? And so so I turn around and it does not matter. Whichever one you want to move now, go ahead and do it. Yeah, All right. yeah. All right, yeah, and what yeah, I love about yeah. this is because I said at the beginning that it's not a precise thing, that it's just sort of, you got to feel for where it's wrong, it builds in an excuse for me to take time. And what I do is I think one, two, three, four, five, odd, correct. One, two, three, odd, that's correct. One, two, three, four, even, that's correct. One, two, three, odd, that's correct. One, two, three, is odd, but that's I see even. there's an uh, even. So you know yeah. that that's the row. The first time I see an error is when I say something vague, like I feel like it's in the lower half here. And this is when you'll usually get nods or smiles or something. Uh -huh. And then this is when you could zero in. Now I know it's gonna be on this row, but I don't know which one it is. Yeah. So I go down, one, two, three, four, that's even, that's even. One, two, three, four, that's even, that's even. One, two, three, that should be odd but we have an even checksum here, which means that it's this had happy. to be yeah. that what, the one you turned wow. over, dude. Is that amazing? That's a magical game amazing. of battleship. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there are exceptions to this that you gotta get ready for. For example, now at this point, everything is configured correctly, but if somebody was a jerk and turned over one of your parody bits here, you would have a big problem. So what would happen is, everything would go the same, you're like, this is all right, and then you would get to this one, you would count one, two, three, four, but see an odd one, and you would say, I feel like it's in this row, and the way you would check, because you don't know which of these you think it is, you would go uh, one, two, three, four, even, 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 odd, 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 and because all of these were correct, no. you would yeah, know that's that's that it yeah, had yeah. to be the so actual It's the same thing, you're just finding the failure last. Correct, correct, right. exactly. Uh, and then the only one that's an exception to all the rules is this guy in the corner, because you just have to remember, you always make that corner one face down. So if it's because you deal it down, 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 down. Exactly, so if all of these check out, and all of these check out, well then by, you know, by default, you know right. that this has to be the one. Although, I ostensibly, you were just channeling Satan to make that happen. Ah, that's yeah. what I'm assuming. I'm assuming I think you're that's channeling. That's what gets you to sleep at night. <laughs> then, sure, it's, it's yeah. Satan's parody yeah. bits. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. question that's is, awesome. Shane, oh, good. can you pull this off for us? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah! Yes. Dang straight. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hey, here we go. All right, Shane, the mic ruler, the math schooler. Final exam time. You've got to impress us with your memory skills, go. I'm awesome at memory, so take those cards, please. Yeah, I got them. Yeah, I want them dealt six across, six down. You, you can know what? flip anything you want. I am. Whenever you I'm, want. I'm gonna make it truly random. Some face up, I don't, some I face don't trust down. Yeah, my own oh, brain. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. 
Can you fix Jimmy's his mess? This is like sloppy and disgusting. Oh, you want us to scoot it forward? Oh, 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 oh sure. Let's really? be precise, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. How's that, Howard Hughes? That's beautiful, That's, gentlemen. Uh, it's it's That's decent, you know. I'll what? Take we time. slaved over this. We're gonna make this bigger and better because we're in Texas, uh, of course. You are a lunatic. Oh my lunatic. God, this is You're crazy. Amazing. Okay. I don't see That's how right. you can possibly yeah. memorize this configuration. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn around and pretend I can't see anything. And you're gonna pick any card you want, flip it over, go. All right, all right, all right. got it, got it. Okay. Ready? All right, Mr. Okay. Memorization. Nobody freak him out. I've seen him kill a man. He'll kill you with his math. What are you That's feeling? That's the worst way to die. I know. <laughs> He's so by by, by long right. division. <laughs> Feel like kind of in the <laughs> bottom half. It's not oh, bad, it's not right. bad. You know, it's just a feeling, just a All right, I'm gonna say. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. Well, Very nice That's thank you. Thank you. Apparently, mathematicians are amazing memory evil, I guess. We try. We try. First and foremost, got to give a huge thanks to Hex Dawson for emailing me this idea. If you have an idea that you want to see made into an awesome routine, write me directly at brian at shwood.com. And of course, you and I should be best friends on twitter.com slash shwood. There is no C in shwood. Make sure to join us next week, because we're going to learn how to pick up chicks, slaughter them, and turn them into chicken nuggets. Wait, what did you think I was talking about? I'm talking about chickens. I know I'm drunk when my teeth feel fuzzy. All right, Shane, the mic teacher, the in back. <laughs> Coming in five, four, three. Yeah, what that guy said. You're number one. I'm sorry, hold on. High five, high five, high five. Yeah, there we go. All right. I love Shh, you. Be cool, be cool. He'll kill you with his math. That's the worst way to die. I know. <laughs> <laughs> By long division. <laughs> <laughs>